sailing now. Uh -huh. That was a clip from Pan, the Peter Pan origin story, and newest movie to hit theaters. Did that hook you enough to go see it, or should you wait for movie critic Will Loper's review? Let's find out. Well, guys, this movie could use a little pixie dust to lift it up, but if nothing else, uh -huh. it succeeds as a pretty thrilling visual adventure. So we begin with Peter as a, an orphan boy with about as much luck as somewhere between Oliver Twist and Annie. Now the cruel nuns in charge of him are actually selling the boys to pirates from an alternate dimension. <coughs> if that's not the sentence of the year, I don't know what is. <laughs> so Peter and the rest of the boys, they're put to work for a crazy and wild Hugh Jackman fully committed as Blackbeard. Blackbeard has the boys mining for fairy dust he inhales in order to remain young. He's also the villain this time, and Captain Hook is a young hunk who was one of the captured boys. Now, Peter befriends Jim Hook, and also still in possession of both hands. They escape. Blackbeard chases them. There's some convoluted prophecy and backstory about uniting Tiger Lily and the tribal natives to overthrow Blackbeard. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I hear a prophecy needs to be fulfilled in a movie, I groan and roll over in my movie theater seat. Ah. Now, I still ended up liking the movie despite its plot problems. The characters, uh, we don't, uh, they don't end up how we know them from the original movie. So I think there was probably a sequel in mind, but uh, looking at the box office and reviews at this point, we might not actually be able to see that sequel. So you mm. did, uh, you got the grande nachos. I did, I so did. So it put you in a good mood. You're I mean, in a I good mean, state of mind. That certainly elevated me and, and perhaps made me a little kinder on this movie. Oh. So I don't know. <laughs> so what's your rating on the movie? On the movie, <laughs> not the nachos. Uh, 3.11 repeating, flying pirate ships out of five. You know, something I can never get sick of mm -hmm. is two hours of flying pirate ships. You know, if you just had that, I'd be, I'd be happy. I have to ask, what, what did you rate the nachos? The nachos, I gave that one uh, four out of five uh, due burns. to the cup of sour cream because, I mean, um, that really, you cannot go wrong with sour cream. Huh? <laughs> right. like that. yeah, that's okay. good stuff. So the blockbusters of summer, like Pan, mm -hmm. uh, have now come yes. and gone. And the award season starting to pick up, so what performances are getting all the buzz? Well, guys, it's never too early to start on your Oscar pool. Uh, so I took a look mm -hmm. and saw who is the uh, front runners for best actor. It's a system error. Fix it. Fix it? Yeah. The man behind the apple. Musicians play their instruments. I play the orchestra. A frontiersman out for blood. Oh, my dad was my boy. And he took him from me, you understand? And a transsexual pioneer. They're gonna call you Lily. <laughs> All herald the arrival of Oscar season, who are the heavyweights for best actor this year. Michael Fassbender as Steve Jobs is gaining buzz as the performance to be. If a fire causes a stampede to the unmarked exits, it'll have been well worth it for those who survive. The Danny Boyle directed and Aaron Sorkin written biopic releases wide on October 16th and looks to get that funny Ashton Kutcher taste out of our mouths. Somehow, we managed to design a word processor that doesn't have thoughts, and it can't happen again. So fix it! But could this finally be the year of the Leo? The four-time nominee has yet to win, but his turn as fur trapper Hugh Glass left for dead after a bear hug goes wrong. <laughs> might just be his ticket to Oscar gold. That is, unless Eddie Redmayne gets to it first for his turn in The Danish Girl as Lily Elby, the first known recipient of gender reassignment surgery. There was a moment when I wasn't me. It was a moment when I was just silly. Fresh off a win last year for The Theory of Everything, Redmayne would only be the third actor behind Spencer Tracy and Tom Hanks to win back-to-back -back Best Actor Oscars. Mm. So there you go. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Will. Thank you. Okay, final look at...